What's up, guys? So I'm here at Fred Howard Park in Tarpon Springs, Florida, right on the Gulf of Mexico. And very windy out here, so I'm just gonna stick the camera in the uh, van here. So we don't have no wind noise. So yeah, Fred Howard Park. This is a uh, drink of mangaritas. What? This is a very special place for me. The very first time I ever boondocked was here in Fred Howard Park in 1988, 30 years ago. Hell, and back then I had my first van. It was a 1977 Dodge B300, and I used to come out here. This was the very first place I've ever boondocked, and we used to come out here in that van and line our uh, vehicles up, all of our friends, like in a circle. I found some pictures of the same exact van, the same color, the same year, model, looked the same. It, this thing didn't look nothing different from uh, when I got rid of this van probably 25 years ago. But uh, I thought that was pretty cool, I'll show y'all. And when I got that van, uh, it was just raw inside, it was just a panel van. and. Uh, I carpeted the ceiling walls and uh, the floor and just thrown about 20 pillows in there. That's all it was. But we used to come out here and stay all weekend and it uh, me about anywhere from five to 50 friends would be out here at a time. Back then, the causeway would go through and it was a free for all. Like I said, it was so packed and people would park on both sides. Now they don't let parking on one side. I actually remember there was a drowning out here. There was a couple out here, and the um, fire rescue couldn't get down here because the causeway was so packed. So now, like 1989 or something like that, where they stopped the parking on one side. So if there's any fire and rescue or uh, uh, safety you need to come in, they could go up on the uh, right side of the road. But uh, yeah, I go back a long way here. And uh, we used to have a lot of fires out here, bonfires, uh, race cars, and raise hell. I really ain't been back here since. I grew up here hanging out here all in the 80s. And this place, what it is, they have a park up front. It's a city park. Fred Howard was a mayor back in the, uh, like, 1945 and 1965 or something like that. He uh, made this a city park because they wanted to develop it, which was pretty cool because uh, really neat piece of property here. And what it is, they have a, like a family park up front with playgrounds and uh, shelters and stuff like that. And then there's a causeway that comes through about a mile into a little island. It's about 100 acres. And um, back in the 80s, it was a hustling little place, but it was all locals. And this causeway right here was just packed with cars and we used to just cruise back and forth in our race cars uh i think the first time i raced a car was on this causeway to be honest with you might have been the first time i kissed a girl out here what actually there's a lot of history here and uh i think i found a picture last night i'll show you that i was back in 1988 standing it's the same exact spot but uh let's see I really can't get out and talk very much because of the wind. Uh, it's really windy out here today. I almost waited till tomorrow to come out here. But uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, do a little uh, montage for you, compilation, put it together, and uh, show you the park. It's not a big place, so it won't take long at all. But I think you'll enjoy it. And if you're ever in Tarpon Springs, this is probably a pretty cool place to check out.
Hope you guys like that little walk around the Fred Howard Park. I'm actually gonna watch the sunset here and uh, got the grill out. Got me a steak here. I got some extra uh, leftover refried rice in the back here that I'm gonna uh, eat with my steak and put it on the grill. But yeah, I'm gonna finish watching the sunset and chill out. Relax. Glad to be all back on the water and a decent temperature. It's only like 75 degrees here today, so it's beautiful out. And uh, appreciate y'all watching, guys. Y'all hit that thumbs up because that's how we roll.